wrong with my voice? That's like the second time my hair looked really short then. That's like the second time my I've gone to speak today and my voice is like cracked. Good, good, what are we? Evening, I guess. It's 20 to 7. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're new here then, welcome. I hope you're all good. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. We're in such a swing of vlogging at the minute. I am on my way to Lauren's house, I'm going to get Lauren, then we're heading to an event together. But I just, we're going to Manchester. I just have to say, I spent the bank holiday weekend, which was last weekend in London with my best friend. She lives in London and I went down on the Friday and didn't come back until bank holiday Monday which was actually one of the days of Notting Hill Carnival. So London was manic, specifically Euston train station where I had to get my train from to come back to North Wales. I didn't like vlog when we are in London um, just because I just had a bit of, well I'd say rest and recoup time. Obviously catching up with my best friend is a part of that but we actually got very drunk on the Friday night which we weren't supposed to do. We had like dinner and drink. We went to a gorgeous restaurant called Cricket which was like Indian street food. It kind of reminded me of like Mowgli's a little bit. And then we went to this place and they had like an offer on, because we had dinner quite early, I should like quarter to seven. They had an offer on because I like, think it was up till eight or nine o'clock, which was three pound tequila shots. Now, for London, that is incredible. That's even good for like up north. Obviously, as somebody who is a bit of a tequila fiend, that's where our night kind of went out the window. Then Saturday, Beth and I were so hungover all day. All we did was put some clothes on to walk to Sainsbury's and get bits to make dinner. And then Beth made us a vodka chili pasta. And then we literally just chilled. And then we went out for the bank holiday. I actually went to, I don't know if anybody knows of it or if this is anybody's end, but I went to a place called The Ship in Wandsworth. And apparently like Sundays there are like always a vibe. It was so busy. We had such a good night. We just laughed so much, like so much like funny things happened. You know, you just really need a weekend like that and obviously for me as well it's very rare that I like don't pick up the camera or, like I literally left the camera at home and like for me that's so weird like leaving the house without my laptop and without the vlog cam is just I feel naked I'm literally constantly checking for it anyway at the start of this week I had probably for the first time since my life has been upside down in recent months I had like what I'm calling or what I'm describing as an emotional crash I kind of like started on the train home I think because I had like my headphones on as I listened to music I was obviously hungover a little bit and like it just kind of I don't know everything just kind of come to a head and I just had a bit of an emotional crash so like the first half of this week I've been a bit I've been a bit in like a, a bit of a lull but it's fine because life is up and down and you just gotta just gotta get on with it keep putting one foot in front of the other I'm absolutely fine but I don't know what it was I just like I just hit like this brick wall with like my emotions it was really weird and yeah all is good but I've only just well I've just been sorting my stuff out for the first half of the week like catching up on some admin and stuff like since I've been away yeah I've just picked up the camera for the first time also I am so full glam right now I've actually filmed like a full glam reel while I was getting ready so I thought why not my hair's also a bit crazy right now because it's been in rollers and it still hasn't dropped very much anyway lauren and i are off into manchester this evening which is very exciting it is exciting actually because we're going to a brand event but this brand the inky list i'm sure you've heard of them primarily a skincare brand a cosmetics brand and they are just one of my favorite skin brands their oat cleanser just took the industry by storm anyway the inky list the two owners that are holding the event tonight it's very rare by the way that the actual owners of such big brands go to these events but it's the first one that they've ever done the inky list have never done an influencer like networking event so this is the first one and lauren and i got invited which is super special and super lovely of them look who i'm with bitches 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 why is it flipped that way oh yeah that's all right way for some reason it looked weird um can i just say i don't know what perfume i'm wearing what is it? Oh, I'm in a while. Chanel! Madam was out. It's like that refillable bottle. I've only got one tube left, so I've just been not wearing it, but it's dead sweet for me. Mate, do you want me to move the thing? I'll happily do it for you. Someone's just done it for me. I've already decided that if we're so hungry after this event, if the canapes aren't enough, then we're going to get chicken nugs. Except the kind of gals that we are. Here we are. Thank you. Are you with fantastic? Yeah. yeah. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hello guys. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Love Island. 
Hey TV2. <laughs> Hello, hello. Hello. Sorry. Sorry. Do you have any eyes? Carry on with yourself, you. Hello. Oh, thank you. So we're going to get together, have a knees up, and give you some knowledge and education. And we fundamentally believe that if you surround yourself with the right information and work freaking hard as possible, then anything is possible. And that's what we wanted to do with skincare. Because I'm about to demonstrate that you, the entire audience, are not normal. Everyone up for that? Yeah. Influences that just anyway. roll with this if you've been here earlier. Hands up if you washed your face today. Not normal. Cheers for that. <laughs> so we are here to tell them how to say it, how to use it, and how to incorporate it into their routine so that they can get better skin outcomes for themselves. So we've done some pretty epic things. So Mark and I, two very normal people, we had a dream, <laughs> a skincare dream. Um, and we've, we've done pretty, uh, pretty all right. And thanks, thanks to all of you people um, and all of the people that have gone on to support our brand, which we will be forever grateful of. But we launched into um, 35 countries. Um, and we're helping those young people aged 11 to 14 find confidence, learn that at any age you can be a learner, right? For some young people, they're staring out of the window being told off in class, but actually they're dreaming of being the next entrepreneur. And we're about helping them really develop those dreams and give them the mentors, the confidence. It is literally your immune system that's reacting to something irritating your skin. Well, we said, that's not, that's not healthy. In fact, I know that's not healthy because, ironically, your immune system will start to get used to that irritant over time. So the more you use it, the more your body gets used to it, and the worse it will be. And Dr. Kerry will tell you some other facts about why that's not a good thing for your lip health in a second. Nothing good with skin ever happens instantly. I promise you that. And lots of people will say, and Dr. Kerry will agree. Oh, say hello to the vlog. We've left the event. Well, to be fair, we were the last ones to leave, weren't we, Lauren? Yeah. Considering we said, and, uh, not staying too long. We were like, yeah, we're not staying too late. Sorry, I'm like, are you joking? Always the last one. Like, we just chat shit. I can't. We just I chat absolutely chat. It's mean, that rain that gets you horrendously wet. I do. That's a job. It's actually that rain. I'd eat fucking anything right now. Hello, boys. <laughs> I'm back to school week. Look where we are. 
Hi, can I put your order for you? Hello, can I please get a plain double cheeseburger on its own? Yeah. And can I get a, oh, do I want the McSpicy or the McCrispy Deluxe? McCrispy Deluxe. Can I get the McCrispy Deluxe meal, please? We'll get 20 chicken nuggets to share. Yeah, yeah. what drink? A Diet Coke, please. Yeah. And can I also get 20 chicken nuggets? Yeah. What do you want, else? Um, I want a McCrispy Deluxe, but no bacon. A McCrispy Deluxe with no bacon, please. Meal. On a meal. Yeah. A meal. Medium. No bacon, did you say? Yeah, a medium meal, no bacon. Yeah, what drink? Uh, Coke Zero. Coke Zero, please. And then yeah. a, a cheeseburger. And a cheeseburger. By itself. By its own. Yeah. By its own. By its own. Um, and loads of curry sauce with the... Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll get that the next window. Now we need, oh, 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 oh she's I might need some out of girl. Put a carpal karaoke. Honestly. Don't mind the alloys. Wee. Wee. Don't mind the alloys. Bit scratched, she gives a fuck. Review of the Muck Crispy Deluxe. Why is it a deluxe? Just taste it and then you'll realize. Okay. Oof, that looks sexy. Honestly, it's just mine is the bacon. Bacon. That is fucking unbelievable. Right, let me get out. No, you can't go bare back into McDonald's. I said, oh, I thought it was a McDonald's worker. I'm burning. That ain't spicy. <laughs> You're lying. If you're a 90s baby, remember McDonald's parties as a kid? Yeah, Are like, they still a thing? And if not, why? 30th birthday. I want to go to McDonald's and have a, with the fucking cardboard crown thing. No, that's Burger no, King. Ronald. Ronald McDonald. Fucking legend, if you ask me. Has anyone got kids? And if so, to, and how much is it? Because yeah, how much same, is it? How I was never cost? allowed one as a kid. We were um, couldn't afford it. No. But how much is it from McDonald's party? And are they still a thing? <sighs> I've got indigestion. I haven't got indigestion, but they're awfully salty. Those chips. Awfully salty. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Beatrice. They are awfully salty. <laughs> <laughs> no, Beatrice. Shanice! <laughs> Shanice! Shut it. Your mouth is moving a lot like a rat. Shut it. Shut, Shut it, Shanice. Shanice. What would you do if I slapped this guy on your forehead right now? <laughs> oh no, I've got an onion in your hair. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I went to flick the... It's a massive onion. <laughs> this is fresh and blow dry today. 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 Today is the day. Sorry, I've got fucking onion hair. What does it like? Oh, cheese slices. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I that. When you don't drink all drink, when you don't eat all day. Well, I had a bagel for breakfast. Then you have one glass of wine. Something about wine opens up hunger yeah. in your body. Like there's no tomorrow. Yeah. I had two glasses of red and I was like, I'm ravenous. Mm. What is it? What's your favourite nugget shape? I like, I like this one. I like round. Square nuggy. I like round and girthy. No, this is the best one because it's the crispiest. Round has far too much chicken in it. Protein, baby. Yeah, see, that's not what I'm about. I'm more crispiness in my life. When you're drinking red, I was like, mm-hmm. Do you know what? Go one of two ways. It's my drink of choice when I know I'm only having two drinks. Yeah. Rose it makes sends me you to giddy. bed nicely. Yeah, Rose makes me like, ooh, let's have another one. We're grown up and settled down. Well, that worked out well. Hello, gorgeous people. Very random moment and day to start the vlog, but we've skipped a couple of days. Oh, I need to put a I need to put a camera battery on charge. Yeah, a very random moment to start the vlog. It's Saturday. We've skipped a couple of days. Oh, wow. Um, yesterday after I got well, I got back from the event really late. Didn't get to bed till like 1 a.m. and then I was up at half five, obviously, to train. And I was so exhausted yesterday, but I had such a busy day, like a busy work day. And then me and Megan, you know Megan obviously, we had a call scheduled in. Be careful, perks, mummy's laptop's there. Good boy. We had a call scheduled in, which I totally forgot about at like half four. And um we were on it for hours, like we didn't get off the call until like quarter to eight. So I was like, well, there's no point picking up the camera now. Anyway, today I have been, are you okay? How's your eyes? 
tell the vlog in a minute about your eyes, won't we? And your poorly potpotch. Oh, your poorly potpotch. Oh, but, but today I've been to Chester with my friend Chloe. We just went, we went and had some lunch, but we literally were coming into Chester, got there at like half one, and we were like, why is it so hectic? And then it clicked. It's a race day. Now, bear in mind, I've gone out in dunks and flared jeans, and it's a race day, so everyone's in like suits dresses as you can imagine okay, we've been and had lunch and then we just did a spot of shopping we had lunch glass of wine then we went on to coffee because i wanted to go and get a nice coffee from this new coffee shop in chester called 200 degrees then we went to went to zara and primark but i just thought i'd quickly show you what i got i wasn't going to vlog today and then i thought shall i take the the vlog camp and me and chloe had a lot of catching up to do and i'm so glad i didn't take the vlog camera because chester was heaving bar lounge was heaving because it was a race day and you know when people are drunk and they see a camera it just you know draws attention but anyway um let me show you what i picked up so primark me and bumper are going to go to the beach for sunset as well it sets at around eight o'clock nowadays i think just after eight primark girls you have to run and get these pajamas me and chloe both bought them this is like our second pair of matching pajamas lately i would actually call this more of a lounge set so it's like this cropped um like v-neck like charcoal it's almost like a petrol gray like it's almost blue like borderline blue this is so soft it actually reminds me of my skin's maxi dress material but the trousers are hang on hang on they're a flared leg how cute are they like that's more like loungy vibes with your slippers i wouldn't even say like go to bed in those but then i also saw this and this is one for the bigger boob gals because this is an absolute gem so it looks like this like speckled frilly material so kind of cute but look what's underneath it's basically got like a built-in like crop sports bra type thing as like hidden support basically which i am definitely here for and i also thought this would be a good thing you can kind of see on the inside because when you have implants as well you should really wear support of an evening but obviously i'm having surgery in january i'm having my implants uh, changed replaced and i just thought that would be a good thing for like extra support over like my post-surgery bra of an evening but yeah how gorgeous that it's like an oatmeal but it's always got a tiny bit of purple in it it didn't have any like evident matching bottoms but i picked these up because they're like a lilac-y colour just to kind of go with. I just thought they'd be cute. They also had these in full length as well as shorts and they did have the actual matching top. I've got these in like a royal blue, the exact same print from Primark and they're so soft, but I just thought these would be kind of like not matching, but kind of cute, kind of matching vibes. So I just picked those up. Then we got some underwear because if you can go into Primark and not get underwear, then obviously you've got more willpower than me, but I just got the classic three pack thongs. I mean, that one at the front's a bit wild, but they've got like a really nice navy and a nice gray color as well. And Chloe got these too, because we liked that they were like a strong cotton at the bottom, but then still have the bit of lace detail at the front at the top, which is cute. And then I got an underwear set, which I don't know how this is going to fit because I think I've bought a 32, I mean my bra size technically is like a 30G or something wild like that, but no 28G sorry I've got 28 back, that's like when I got my boobs and god what 11 years ago, that was like my measured size like once you get them done but I don't, I've literally never wore a bra basically since, um, but I do like to use these like at the start of like styling reels, you know like when i start with no clothes on before i put an outfit together i like to have obviously nice underwear sets for that so i got a 32d and i'm sure in primark i've previously bought a 30e so i don't really know how this is going to go but how gorgeous is this and it was eight pounds for the set which is so good i get a lot from boo avenue i love their stuff i went to ibiza with them last summer um and their bikinis like their cut size bikinis are such a dream if you've got like a fuller bust they fit so nicely but obviously their stuff is quite spenny so just having like little things like this from primark for eight pound for a matching set i don't know why it's also ski with on the hanger i don't think i showed you actually but Chloe and i went to zara a couple of weeks ago after we went to hot pod yoga oh no i think i did show you and i basically bought joggers which are now next to this in the shop. So this is the matching sweater to it. I got a size small and we, we know I like oversized. I don't know, I don't know if that's gonna be big enough. I might need a medium. But what I really liked about this is that the bottom is like an off cut. Can you see that instead of like a, 
banded sweater that was 20 pounds but anyway this matches the joggers that i bought the only thing is when i was in london over the weekend with my bestie we were eating chili pasta and i dropped it off it's like red in color i dropped it on my joggers and i was just having a hungover day eating pasta trying to be a potato bumper bumper do you know what he's doing that's the sound of my nearly seven year old chihuahua son licking his older they're not brothers what are they cousins flash's bowl which is like the size of his body because obviously flash is a labrador his bowl is huge and that's the sound of bumper licking it i don't know what you could possibly want from that bowl that's not in his but that's fine anyway yeah i got the matching joggers but i spilled something on them so hopefully that's come out in the wash i haven't actually checked them they're on the line as we speak i don't shop online on zara very often because i'm really weird with their sizing and i like to be able to look at it in person like the models that they use as gorgeous and as lovely as they are they just don't have my body shape at all and it's really hard to picture how things are going to look on you in zara i find until you see them in person these cargoes is there a tag on these oh yes at the front i was going to say if i have to return these they're so strict with their returns in zara this was these were 49.99 so 50 pounds i got a size eight and I don't know if I'm meant to sit low rise because they have a bit of a drop crotch, you know, like the added hem. So I need to see how they fit. But I just fell in love with these because I love anything with a contrast uh, stitch. But these are like a washed kind of charcoal. And then the stitching is like this beigey colour. They had them in like the opposite. So like the light beigey colour with the darker stitching as well. And I think they just had them in like a stone colour with all the same colour stitching. But yeah, I got these in an eight. But it's just a weird thing because they have got an elasticated waist. But they've also got a drawstring so I don't know if they're meant to be high-waisted I think they're gonna sit low rise I'm not really sure I'll have to try them on and let you know but I'm going to Cardiff in a couple of days to stay with my mum for a few days so I think I'm going to take them with me so I'll let you know how they fit they've also got the pull cord at the bottom of the legs you know where you tie them which is super handy because when they're a baggy fit sometimes they drag over the end of your trainer as I always do when I go into Zara a couple of basics this um little vest top is such a nice like stretchy rib material and it looks super cropped which I really like so it's kind of I mean this one's tucked under this is H&M it's actually a lot longer but sometimes I don't like them to be too long I like them to just sit here because when you wear high waist and stuff it still allows a little bit of midriff on show but this one looks like a really nice um material it's not like that you know the famous Zara material I've got a few tops in it's a bit of a softer rib than that a bit more of a casual rib than like the bandage rib then I got this which is a bit of an odd shape but I thought maybe it would sit like a little cap sleeve I hope but honestly the one thing that winds me up and you see it mainly in Zara there was about 40 of these on the rail and this was the only one without makeup either all around the neck or all down it or on the arm or you know when people have tried them on and then they don't like it so they carelessly take it off and just put it over their face please for the sake of everyone if you're going to try things on in changing rooms don't wear makeup on your shopping day that's all I've got to say. I never try things on in shops because I just haven't got the patience. But whenever I do when I'm at home, it's always without makeup in case I need to return it. I'm sorry. That is girl code. Like that needs to be a new unwritten rule because the fact that there were so many of these, I literally said to the woman at the desk, I was like, you do know that every single one of those tops except for this one has got makeup on it. And she was like, yeah, I know. And I'm like, that's such a shame though because you can't, like no one's going to buy them. That is everything. Anyway, I need to get changed into something comfy because I ain't going to the beach like this in these jeans they're so tight these they're such a weird fit they're super old ASOS but look at that I'm gonna get bumper in the car and go to the beach for the evening my sister and all my brother are out because they've gone to some car show or something and taken the dog um so we're just gonna have a nice chilled Saturday evening I actually need to edit the vlog that's going up tomorrow so that's gonna be my night tonight once I get into bed anyway speaking of bumper don't mind me with my pants open sorry guys um let me just quickly fill you in so it's really weird because a couple of days ago I was speaking to somebody on DMs are you chasing the fly you're such a clever boy thank you for doing that for mummy anyway yeah I was talking to somebody on Instagram DMs a couple of days ago about like chihuahua's tear stain she said that she's just got like a chihuahua puppy and oh I think she rescued one actually and um she says that he gets quite bad tear stains it's very common in their breed because obviously their eyelids don't really cover their eyes until they're asleep because they have quite buggy eyes bless them um so yeah I clean up his eyes just with water and a cotton pad you can get some stuff I think in pets at home called diamond eyes 
something like that but I've just always used water anyway as I've been doing it the last like few days I do it like every day I've noticed that like his sleep in his eyes was like green and it's never been that color before it's just been like normal sleep color um so I thought oh god like that looks like an infection and that like, I could notice when he was first waking up his eyes were a bit tacky anyway I had to take him to the vet yesterday but my usual branch didn't have any appointments so I went to one a little bit further because they've got a couple of branches and it turns out he's got like a bit of doggy conjunctivitis but they had to put dye in his eye just to check because he lives with like another dog just to check that there wasn't like a scratch or anything and it wasn't but the dye that they put in his eye she was like by the way this goes like highlighter green like bright green and I was like yeah it's fine oh my god he literally looked like he had like Halloween makeup on it was so funny bless it but he's just got some like antibiotic antiseptic eye drop things that I've got to put in but why is like putting eye drops or anything like that giving that to a dog is like their worst nightmare they're like please no 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 anyway I'm gonna miss the sunset if I keep talking so let me go and put some companies on and then we're going to the beach look how gorgeous this is what a lovely evening with the ambience of the seagulls in the background are you gonna do a poo poo mister please if you leave here can I Guys, please tell me you saw that. He just did a poo right under you little monkey, right under the um like thing. So then I had to climb literally under it to get the poo. so for some reason chloe and i thought i know what we'll do with the hottest day to ever grey september we will walk up moyle by my in this heat so that's what i'm about to do i literally got back from the gym um i'm going to cardiff tomorrow so i just started writing a list of things that i wanted to take with me but anyway this is my little outfit just a full night fit these shorts i've had for a while now i've got them on asos and then this is just the famous nike sports bra i have this in black white gray literally every color it's super supportive and i've just got new balance 452s on purely because they're ruined from walking anyway so they are just like my walking trainers when i don't fancy putting my walking boots on also no we are not going for a picnic i actually have dinner with two of my friends slash old work colleagues afterwards and I don't think I'm going to have time to come back and get changed so I've got my bits for dinner in there and some bits to freshen up as well which is just classic me ramming things in into my schedule and into a bag. Um, I'm going to go and grab an iced coffee on the way because I really really need one and I've got a clip in my bag by the way for my hair to go up because we all know that I'm going to be sweating but honestly what is going on I feel like everyone was getting so excited for like autumn winter last week because the weather had dropped a little bit and now we're having such a hot week everyone's like actually I'm still in the summer mood. Hi can I get a iced latte please? Um, no just a regular. Um, can I please get skimmed milk, an extra shot and sugar free caramel syrup please? Yeah thank you. Fab, thank you. Thank you. No, no, that's it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Excuse me, you don't tell you how many straws, do you? Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. See you later. I know she gave me like the sippy cups. But I just can't get on board with them. Like I'm actually having to stick a straw through the sippy cup hole because I hate it when the ice melts to the point where oh, that was close. Where it like starts coming through the hole when you sip it. So I have to ask for a straw. And she's like, I'll give you two because they go a bit weird. And I was like, Do you know what, babe? I appreciate that. So you just pinch the end like this, stick it in your little hole.
and then you've got the stabs with a straw. Cannot even explain how hot it is. Hiya. Yeah. Here are you? Don't mind me, just pulling up on the drive. Chloe and Rich are used to it. Look at this. A nice coffee. Direct from the Rex and Bean Co sauce. I got an extra shot in my stabs. Yeah. And now I'm gonna. This is quite a strong coffee, isn't it? I would say so. Mm. It'll be bouncing up my oil, am I? Also, it's literally just saying to Rich, Chloe's boyfriend, he makes Rex and Bean. The difference in the taste of this coffee compared to her starbs it's phenomenal we've got no sunglasses and it's the sunniest <laughs> hottest <laughs> we've got nowhere to I put anything <laughs> we normally put our keys in our socks we're, not, we're wearing little shitty trainer socks we've got this much water to last for time. <laughs> if two girls go missing at my Obamai today please screenshot this this is what we look like no it's honestly the hottest day and there is this is normally jam-packed of people parking to go up and there is not one person here because no one's obviously as crazy as this anyway i'm gonna leave the camera in the car i'll get some clips on my phone wish us luck guys you started your walk on your watch yeah. can't get over like the sun look it's gold as long as you're not poisonous. Wow, so cute. Look how it's literally got highlighter on. Excuse me, is that Becca Cosmetic Champagne Pop? It's like hazy. hazy. Because it's that hot. Wowza. This is normally packed with hikers. Oh, there we go. Lovely. We should actually do um, Snowden Sun. Did you do Snowden Sun? Yeah, it's Taffrey yeah, Sunrise. Yeah. Um, yeah, we should do that, really. But not obviously in this heat, but when maybe if the, we get like a dry day in October, that would be a good time to do it. What down snowed when it's gone dark? No. I have. Not in error, we stayed up there. Like, well, it took us longer to get up than we thought. And then me and Josh, it was literally the sun had set and like the last part of it, you know, where it goes really narrow, it was so dark. Guess what? She's got a period. Woo! No, Chloe's like five days late on a period and it's finally gone! Woo! Woo! Guys, we just saw a guy walk it, uh, run in and we were like, honestly, I can't believe you're doing that, to be honest. And he had a backpack on as well. Yeah, he's bad. He is not. Okay, do you want to hear something funny? Only because we just bumped into people who aren't locals. So, obviously, Moil Vamai is pronounced Moil Vamai. But we heard it pronounced, what did we hear it pronounced as once? Moil Vamu. <laughs> Moil Vamu. And there's this other place called Wepper Park. Oh, and then the other one was Moil Vamai. Moil Vamai. Moil Vamai. Should we go at Moil Vamai today? Um, yeah, there's another place called Wepper Park. And once, somebody called it Wee Pre Park. Oh, I went to that Wee Pre Park. And we're like, where? And then we realised they talk about Wepper. Honestly, the Welsh language can be quite confusing. But I da. Oh no, it's not the morning anymore. Pronoun da. Oh my god, I've forgotten what sheep is in Welsh. What sheep in Welsh? I've forgotten. Um, Buch, that's cow. Cathal is the horse. What the? Excuse me, what are you in Welsh? He doesn't know. Any ideas? It's about you. Oh my god, why can't I remember that? Hello monkey number one. You know what time it is? It's eye drops time. Uh oh, before bed. Before bed, little monkey. I'm home, if you didn't guess. Oh, by the doggos, wow. Oh my god, I'm exhausted. And I actually look it. Guys, you can tell me. I look tired, I know. Um, what was I going to say? What a lovely day though. I'm actually laughing at the thought of me and Chloe celebrating the fact that she came on a period before. She's been like, I think she's like five days late. She tracks it all in an app. Sorry, the grip for my camera is in my car. So sorry if it's wobbly. You guys know I don't have steady hands. Um, yeah, she tracks it all in an app and she's a few days late. She's just had like a really stressful time. So we were proper like celebrating the fact that she came on a period. So funny. I am going to pack my cards up, <laughs> finish drinking my cup of tea, 
go and brush my teeth and then get myself to bed because I am exhausted. That was my stomach, by the way. It's really not okay. Anyway, hope everyone's okay and I will see you all bright and early. The sunset is just everything above me in bed, honestly. One of the best things. <laughs> I'm so tired and I've actually woke up a bit late. I'm normally warmed up and everything by 10 past 6. Jim doesn't open till 6 so only 10 minutes behind. But anyway, let's go train legs because I need to get fat and I've got a train to catch. No, no, my sweat has sweat. I don't think you understand. Look at that. I only washed my hair yesterday. And it definitely needs a wash again this morning before I go anywhere today. So yeah, one week into reduced calories, a little bit of morning fasting. And I'm feeling leaner definitely this week. By the way, this is for no purpose other than the fact that my mother and I are going on an all-inclusive in a couple of weeks. Where although I'm going to train whilst I'm away, I'm just not going to count or watch what I eat or anything like I normally would. So I'm just kind of putting in that work now just so I don't fluff out too much. Oh, have I actually showed you what I put in my morning shake? I feel like I've only showed the Instagram story and not YouTube. So we have my protein clear whey. Clear whey over the traditional milkshake protein is just so much better in my opinion like it's literally like juice so much easier to digest so this is how many grams of protein is this uh, 20 grams of protein per serving so pretty good and i have got a discount code for my protein it's just asher in capital letters and then i also put in my js health quality x collagen which is unbelievable it is so good and i think my discount code for that is the same i think it's asher in capital letters so both my protein and js health just kind of fill it with water halfway because it's quite a big thing this ninja thing um but yeah this is what it looks like glowy skin gets your protein in and it's just the best thing to have post gym and then I'll eat it around nine, half nine. Well darlings, I'm all packed and ready to go to Cardiff. I've literally just take my suitcase downstairs. Just need to finish packing my hold all and then I'm good to go. I need to round up this vlog real quick because I am actually going to edit this very vlog on the train down there. It's like a three hour, 20 minute train, which is actually quicker than the drive, which obviously makes sense. So yeah, I've got plenty of time to get this done, but I just thought, why not get the train? instead of drive for once and I'm actually so glad I made that decision because it's such a hot day and also I can actually get some work done as well. Super boyish baggy classic Asher outfit on for the comfy travels and yeah I'm gonna round up the vlog. I feel like this vlog has been a bit boring so I'm sorry if it has but sometimes the normal stuff are just what we want to see you know. Anyway I'm gonna love you and leave you because the camera's staying at home for the next few days. Yeah I hope you've enjoyed the video regardless of it being a bit not really much and I will see you all in next week's vlog. Bye!